Hello, my fellow dweebs, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are on season four, episode four of my Solar Opposites reaction series. This episode is called The Pronunciation Cassette Tapes, and let's get watching. Hey, Solars! Yeah, I moved out of Kirkland's signature village because the wife and I got back together. Yeah, I thought I heard yeah. some gentle humps and wet slurps popping from your bedroom window. <gasps> oh, yeah, I've been stirring <laughs> pussy for weeks, and it's all thanks to Benadog Cumberwolf here. <laughs> Oh, it looks like Snowball. Don't aliens eat cats? That's an offensive stereotype perpetuated by Hollywood liberals. The solar opposites would never <laughs> eat a cat. Then let's go get a pet cat right now. It'll be a permanent part of the family. <laughs> Where's God Jesse? Damn it, we are like <gasps> oh, oh my God! They really upsell you on the gerbils. We need to think of pets we won't be tempted oh, to eat. No, so obviously nothing with fur or cat cow. organs. We need something that's not so cute that we want to eat it, but is still sort of cute and will lick our faces. Getting facelift is a real priority for me. Yabba, yabba, yabba. Yeah, we've noticed. <laughs> oh my god, are they gonna get a dinosaur? Your word to pronounce is A-L-U-M-I-N-U-M. -U -U Can you use it in a sentence? No, because then I'd be pronouncing it. Nice fucking try! <laughs> Aluminork? Jackson, you idiot. <laughs> oh. Listen up, opposites. Regionals will be your toughest competition yet. We'll be up against the winners <laughs> from Philadelphia. Focus on the competition. You the fine. Zelda shirt. Zelda girl and Naruto boy should be BFFs. You want me to what? For you to make us a dino saw. We want to make it a dino. Make it a dino <laughs> without a spicy <laughs> a sauce. Make it a dino. Make it a dino. Make it a dino. Look, I can't just make a living creature. But what if you use the quantum injector? <laughs> You're just making words up now. The thingy we use to make fun buckets. Yeah, that shit's canon. Oh, I forgot about that. That shit is canon. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Regionals. Again? How many regions are there? A thousand? And Dino better not interrupt my studying! <laughs> you see that shit? Good boy! Dandelion! Shabber oh, Jesse. Light saber. Honestly, the string doesn't help me study, but it does look nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez nuts. What is it now? We're solving a Scooby-Doo mystery. <laughs> that yeah, part I just said you the time. I suppose you're wondering why I went through all this trouble. Just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> one, two, a one, two, three, four. The Dino and the opposites. From prehistoric times to something space. The Dino and the opposites. <gasps> to make a demo if we want to get a record deal for a dinosaur band. Yummy like watch the bass player from Fallout Boy's Masterclass. These heads were the only way to Sparky. There aren't any chairs open now. The dino's sitting where you usually do. Also, there's no more burritos. He only made six for the six members of the family. Little buddy. Guess we forgot about you. Let's all resume laughing. <laughs> God, how I love these bones. Now it's all about thirst trap selfies with fucking Emotep. What can we do for you? Well, I'm actually from Hollywood. We're working on a story oh. and need to know how could someone get rid of an annoying dinosaur without anyone knowing? Look at all the famous works of art with dinos. Oh my god. Oh, this is so cute. I love how happy Terry and Corvo look. Jesse opposite if you kill this sweet dino. It's so out of control that I'm about to do a murder on the Dino with an asteroid. <laughs> Enjoy your cartoonishly large ribs. <gasps> oh! That move, you stupid <laughs> bitch. You, know, you can talk? I've been able to talk this whole time. <laughs> you were right. I was trying to replace you. Sword time, motherfucker! Oh. Hey, what are you doing? I was coming to kill the Dino because I thought he was replacing me in the family. What? No way! I did too! <laughs> Die, die, die! Oh, they all want him to die. We were all jealous of the Tino. We were all gonna do a murder. What the shit, Pupa? You little Poison. traitor. Do grow some self-doubt, Pupa. Wait a second. It's full of broken glass. The people were trying to kill the Tino too. <laughs> Pronounce this. D-I-E. <gasps> hey, neighbors. Sorry to walk in your backyard in the middle of the night, but I was wondering... Oh! 
boy. I was sure we were dead after that beam turned our space station into cigarettes, but luckily we had oh my God. to stay alive. Isn't that oh. canon? <laughs> that happened at some point last season, right? I knew as soon as he popped out of the machine. I was just waiting for my sword to come in from West Elm. <laughs> My sight is based on movement, and I want to see you fuckers dance. Little buddy and I are gonna turn your room into a cigar lounge. No! What about our room? That'll be our jerk-off zone. I told you that space no. would make a great jerk-off zone. You say that in every room. You're a herbivore. Fuck, I'm all smart. Terry, we're plants. Wait, we are? Oh, you are. <laughs> is that supposed to scare me? <gasps> Mm, the girl is right. We love dinosaur bones. But yeah, they're they always do. so dry and fossilized. You've got wet bones. Ecologists, <laughs> stay back! Oh, oh, my my God. Everyone, be cool. Don't do anything to piss them off. We got this. Oh, an Egypt exhibit. No! I'm just glad we were all there together. That's what family is for. Now let us clutch each other in a manner that demonstrates affection. Hey, you can't be part of the hug. You teamed up with the Dino. We're launching little buddy into space. The cryopod's gone, <gasps> Dell. Fucking what? Remember, you used it to shoot that guy into space? That whole yeah, crystal did. skull vodka bullet thing? I. And what is happening to Glenn? What was that guy's name that we shot into space? Who cares? We'll never see him again. Mm. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm already on my fourth pair of leaf underwear. I'm scared. <laughs> and I miss you so much, baby. I wish I was inside you right now. I oh, love dude, you, car. Honda S2000. I would do anything to run my hands over your faux leather interior and listen to the Fast and Furious soundtrack. Oh, watch out, little matey. Guys, this is crazy. This fruit saved my life. Hmm. Plus, it tastes like a mango slush from Sonic. Hey, thanks for the tip, little bro. Oh, hey there, little fella. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Faces for once. Oh, aren't you a bunch of little kill you? <laughs> Sucked me right in too. I'm now missing two toes and hiding in a gross alien tree. This is my rock bottom. Oh, he's having a horrible time. Oh my gosh. It's it's it. ah! Yo, bro, it's time to sack up. Stop, bro. <laughs> Glenn. That's a sky shark. I'm a pathetic ground human. Don't you remember <laughs> what I learned in Fast and Furious 13, Race to Atlantis? Familia, Glenn. <laughs> Familia is inside you, but also outside. Vroom, vroom. Beep, beep. Fast and the Furious. I'm proud of you, Glenn. You got the shit kicked out of you, but at least you tried. Thanks, Toretto. Familia. Well, we got a two for one in that episode. I didn't realize we were that close to the end of this episode, so I thought maybe we would pick up where we left off next week. But nay, we got to see what Glenn has been up to, and I guess he's going back to some sort of civilization, which is good because <laughs> based off of the Sky Shark fight, I don't think he was gonna survive in nature for much longer. Although, same, Glenn, same. 
And I have to say, I think the Dino premise has been my favorite that we've had in this season of Solar Opposites so far. That is the kind of wacky, zany shit that I love about this show and just even the way the dinosaur is animated. Ugh, everything about it was cracking me up. Also, if there was any question that the pupa was affected by all of their shenanigans, this would have been the episode where it would have come back into play, so clearly they're fine. And I can't believe the pupa tried to kill the dino with broken glass soup. That's crazy. And the last thing I'll say before I wrap up is I am getting used to Corvo's new voice. I don't know whether Dan was sinking more and more into the character as he recorded each episode. I also don't know if they recorded them in order, but I just feel like he did a great job in this one. The writing was also extra funny, so I don't know if that added to it as well, but I'm curious for those of you that maybe took a second to warm up to the voice like me, if this episode was a turning point for you, let me know in the comments. I know there's several of you that said you loved it from the very start, but it was a little bit harder for me to get used to and yeah, this episode was my turnaround. As always, thank you so much for watching guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for new reactions every week. And if you would like access to full length reactions, early release to my videos and a whole bunch of other fun stuff, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Alicia Dweeb. And I will see you dweebs later.